Greetings and welcome to my channel. Before we begin, please go ahead and click the like, subscribe, and notification bell. Five major phases of fetal lung development. Your little one is going to grow with every week of your pregnancy. In the initial stages, your baby is going to be just the size of a ball of cells and not any bigger than that. At this point, there are no such productive cells in the baby, but as the fetus grows towards the fourth week, that is when different segregate cells form one layer of an organ. These developments occur in five different stages that you should be aware of. So let's explore five major phases of fetal lung development. Make sure you share this video and give it a thumbs up. Embryonic Phase The embryonic stage is one of the first stages that your fetus experiences. At about four to five weeks of the gestational age, your little one is going to form two tiny buds. Now, you must be wondering about their function, right? Well, the tiny buds are going to form branches for the right and left lungs. Yes, this is the phase when your baby finally forms the lungs for respiration. Moreover, the voice box and trachea, which is also known as the windpipe, grows in the embryonic phase. Pseudoglandular phase The pseudoglandular phase of fetal lung development starts from 5 to 17 weeks of gestational age. Several medical studies have found that the original lung buds branch into different smaller and numerous units in the pseudoglandular phase. Moreover, at a certain time, each bud creates an independent respiratory unit, which includes a bronchial and several capillary vessels that regulate the blood to the lungs to fulfill the oxygen requirements of your little one. Canalicular phase the canalicular phase of your little one's lung development starts between 16 to 24 weeks of gestational age. In the canalicular phase, a formation of a barrier occurs between the air and the blood, which promotes oxygen for supplying blood to respiratory cells. Further, it enables the carbon dioxide to flow out from the respiratory capillaries straight into the lungs. Moreover, different types of tissue form in the baby's lungs during the canalicular phase, which differentiates air-carrying tissues from the gas-carrying tissues. This phase is an important one in fetal development. Saccular phase Right after the canicular phase, the baby grows towards the saccular phase, where major lung development takes place at around the 26th week of gestational age. Moreover, the production of surfactant starts in this phase of lung development. In case you don't know, a surfactant is a soapy fluid that assists in keeping the lung tissues protected and prevents them from sticking within walls. This also helps in tearing away exhalation and any kind of damage when it compresses. Surfactant is a very significant element during the delivery. You might have seen, or at least heard, from many people talking about this fluid that forms a very sticky texture and ensures a proper delivery. Surfactant allows the amniotic fluid in the lungs to drain away and allows the lungs of your baby to fill with air appropriately. Premature babies have a high probability of respiratory issues and different health conditions because of problems in this phase because the lung collapses if they are born before the formation of surfactant. Alveolar phase The last phase of fetal development is the alveolar phase. The alveolar phase lasts until the birth of a little one, until the early stages of your baby's childhood. This phase ensures the proper production of surfactants. This phase also ensures the growth levels in the air sacs and bronchioles or alveoli. Lastly, gas-carrying tissues of the lungs enhance for expansion and become more effective for carrying the air throughout the tissues for better growth of your baby.